Good day, my name is Shoal. I work for Micrographics and we can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za. Right, today's video is all about adding up points uh, using latitude and longitude inputs. Now I'm going to show you two ways of doing that. Uh, one is creating a point and then adding a, a, a transparent command to that point and then inputting the latitude and longitude. The alternative is to add a point and then adjust its properties. Right now, just as a little bit of uh, background, if you add a point uh, and you add it to the drawing, that is uh, fairly easy. It can be added. However, uh, let me just escape out of that and delete it. Right, however, if you add a point and uh, you want to add latitude and longitude input, what it does, it uh, d does not want to do that because it requires the drawing to be uh, located in a certain uh, area. Now that is set up by going into the uh, or going to the the tool space, going to settings, and then editing the drawing settings of this particular uh, drawing. And what you will do is you will uh, you will then go to setting up the, the coordinates and the zone and the coordinate system. Right, so uh, in this case I'll go to uh, Republic of South Africa and I'll use a uh, LO23 WGS84 for instance. Right, I'll say OK. So this is just setting up the coordinate system. Now that that's set up, uh, what you then uh, can do is you go to the points, uh, back to the points area and uh, go to the latitude and longitude input and it, what you'll see now is it uh, recognizes that uh, the drawing has got a, a, a coordinate system attached to it and you can then input your values. Now currently there's a, a values so I'll just uh, type in the values that I have written down uh, and press enter for the, the first one and then the second one I will uh, do as well 53.6 uh, press enter right that point has now been placed and uh, I can then carry on adding uh, additional points now obviously I have placed it um, it might be out of the uh, the field of view so I'm just going to simply escape and then uh, zoom extends uh, either by typing in the keyboard entries and then uh, or you can double click the roller right so there's the point um, it's just called point 6 now uh, if I select that um, obviously I can uh, um, look at its uh, uh, coordinate values here there's the uh, the latitude and the longitude right okay so that's the first step I'm gonna uh, or the first method I'm gonna delete this guy and uh, I'll then go and add an another point this will now be Point seven. Now I purposefully moved it slightly uh, away from the, uh, the the value. If I now go to that uh, point, so the second way of working is to place the point at any position, then go to its uh, properties and go and alter the values that you have here. Now in my case it's uh, 2801 53.6, press enter and as you can see the value or, or the object is actually shifted and I'll also uh, change the uh, this one over here that's 27 40 and 53.1 right press enter and uh, the, the object is now placed in the correct position right now this is just um, adding individual points there are many ways to to, to do this as well uh, as also you can add multiple points uh, very easily by um, obviously adding uh, having them in, a, in an Excel file or a text file and then importing those points and uh, producing um, uh, an import of multiple points in, in one process. Right, but anyway that concludes the uh, uh, adding of a point at a specific uh, location 
uh, with regards to latitudes and longitude inputs. Thank you for watching.